Hello, I'm Mimi, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my six favourite sources of creative inspiration. After spending almost every day drawing for a full year, I became pretty familiar with what I could rely on for inspiration. And I want to share those things with you for moments when you just need a little help with ideas. Be sure to stick around to the end where I'll show you my own prompt list, where to get it and how I use it. So, source of creative inspiration number one is look at the world around you. I'm a nature lover, so going for walks outside is my number one source of creative inspiration because there is always something to see. I enjoy finding interesting shapes and textures and I'm always surprised by the variety of plants there are when I look closely and pay attention, and I try to introduce some of these shapes in my own illustrations. If you can't get outside though, you can also find inspiration around your home by looking at the everyday things around you from a different perspective. For a simple creative exercise, pick out a few items you like the colour of and try and illustrate something inspired by those colours. I've picked out a brown pot, some purple earrings and a yellow tea bag, and with some coloured pencils, though you can use any medium you like, I'll try and match the colours I see to form my palette. The brown and yellow made me think of a bumblebee, and bees like flowers, so I'll use the purple for those. This is a really simple drawing, but it got me thinking about colour, and I think it's a nice warm-up when I'm feeling a bit stuck. 2. Browse art books and Pinterest I have a selection of art books that I really like, and they never fail to give me a boost of creative motivation. I'll sit down somewhere sunny or cosy, and flip through the pages without any pressure of drawing myself and just admire the work of other creatives, like how they've used colours together, or how they create atmosphere, or how they've told a story with their character design. This particular art book is wonderful for character design inspiration, and features so many beautiful art styles. It's actually a magazine too, so there are lots of additions to collect. This one is full of lovely nature-inspired designs, and I really like it for seeing all the different ways of drawing plants. This book features loads of visual development art from DreamWorks movies, so it really has a bit of everything from developed scenes to character sketches, and it is gigantic. I'll link the books that I have below if you'd like to check them out yourself. Pinterest is also an amazing resource for inspiration, and I'm sure a lot of you already use it. I have boards with art that I like, and also boards of beautiful places, cottages and cute animals. These boards have saved me so many times when I'm about to give up on having ideas for the day. I have a quick browse through my boards or through new pins and I almost always see something that inspires a story or just a simple scene. 3. Join art challenges I've said this before but joining art challenges within a community like Instagram is a really great way to be inspired. Find a challenge that has a prompt list, or do a draw this in your style challenge and you'll be able to focus less on what to draw and more on how you want to draw it. You'll get to see all the creative ways other artists have participated in the same challenge, and I always just find it so motivating to be part of a community of like-minded people. 4. Admire other artists Take a look through some other art accounts online and admire what they're doing. You don't ever want to copy another artist, but it's nice to be aware of what it is you like about their art. And maybe you can take one aspect of something they've drawn and use that as inspiration for your own art. There have been lots of times when I've been admiring the way other artists use colour palettes, or draw characters, or introduce lighting in their art, and it's inspired me to learn to improve those parts of my own illustrations. 5. Do other creative things. If you're looking for inspiration for drawing, then sometimes the best thing to do is get away from the sketchbook or the tablet and do something else that's creative. You could do any craft you like, but I personally really like to bake because it's hands-on, you can make something colourful and messy, and then you get to eat it at the end. It's also really fun to throw away all of your creative expectations and do some really loose, messy, experimental art on scrap paper that you're not precious about and take away all the pressure of drawing a finished illustration in that nice sketchbook you have. I like to get out some traditional art supplies like paints and pens and pop them down on paper in loose forms. Paints are great because if you don't try and control them, they'll take on a life of their own and go where they want to. So I use those first to put down a base layer and when it's dry, I come back in with marker pens to layer in some finer lines, still trying to be loose with it and think as little as possible. 
In general, I'm trying to follow the form and direction of the paint to guide my marks, and the only thing I've thought about controlling is the colour palette and the tonal contrast, making sure I have some really light and really dark bits. I had so much fun doing this activity, and feel so creatively refreshed afterwards. 6. Use a prompt list. I usually do this exercise in my head, but I thought it would be fun to create a physical version so that you can use it too. It's the kind of thing we used to do in school as a storytelling prompt, and the aim is to generate the idea for an illustration by writing a list of prompts in different categories and then randomly picking an idea from each list. You can make your own prompt list if you want to, but if you'd like to use the one I've made, you can find the link to download it and print it at home in the description below. So I've written down a list of character types, a list of environment themes, a list of accessories, and a list of friends. I've printed them out, cut them up, and popped them all in separate little bowls. When I'm ready to draw, I'll take one prompt from each bowl and use that to create my illustration, sticking to it as much or as little as I like. I've just pulled out Book Lover for my character, Cozy and Warm for my environment, Strawberries as my accessory, and Turtle as a friend. I'll sketch out this prompt a few different ways. The first one I kind of stay within my comfort zone and draw a girl with a book. She's got a blanket beside a window to be nice and cozy. Her outfit has some strawberries on it, and I've made the book she's reading about turtles. The second one I wanted to change the perspective of the prompts a little, so I've made the turtle the book lover. They're having a strawberry picnic with some cozy socks and a beanie. I've loosened up a bit after drawing the first sketch, which feels a little bit more stiff to me. For the third sketch, I wanted to change things up again, and I have the books themselves as the main feature, and it's a warm, sunny day. The top book is about strawberries, and I've drawn a turtle having a nap on them. If I'm feeling like a challenge, I'll make sure I work something out that involves all four things, but if I'm being more relaxed with it and the prompts inspire something else, that's fine too. There is no right or wrong way to do this exercise. Have fun with it and draw whatever you like. Don't forget, if you'd like to download my prompt list and print it for yourself, you can find the link in the description below. I hope you found these inspiration tips helpful, and if you did, then be sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.